Hey friends, hey, it's your girl Vondre and welcome back to my channel, Typical Black Queen. Like a queen, like a queen, like a queen, queen like a upon queen. her throne. I first and foremost want to start off by saying excuse me for the noise it's in the middle of the day um, my neighborhood is popping right now everybody's outside it feels good and excuse if you can hear my fan it's a little bit hot I didn't want to turn the air conditioner on though because that would be way too loud if you are new here welcome hopefully you enjoyed that last video I posted um, this goes without being said but we're gonna say it if you want any of the tea the tips just the personal information about me or what's going on you have to be my friend and the only way to become Become my friend for real for real is just simple and easy and it's by hitting that red subscribe button below you also have an opportunity of becoming one of my BFFs my good good girlfriends good good boyfriends whatever you want to call it you can do that by clicking the newsletter subscription below in the description box and who doesn't want to be in the in crowd okay especially my in crowd because we're kind of lit now that we've gone past the semantics let's get into this video okay as you can see my hair is already in a protective style I'm not going to be doing a different style I'm just going to be refreshing this style because I just felt like I needed to put my hair up it I felt like it was getting damaged I don't know I just I felt my ends screaming to me like help me help me put me up pin me up like I, I just felt all of that so I decided to do a flat twist style and I got so much love on it on my community post on here um, on Facebook Twitter and on Instagram and a lot of people said that they wish that they could do this style but they don't know how to flat twist or know how to braid first of all flat twisting is a lot easier than braiding so we're gonna jump into this video so I can get you to get your protective style on without having to worry that it's not neat enough it's not crisp enough we're just gonna slow it down we're gonna take our time and we're gonna make this work you're gonna be able Able to do this style on your head by the end of this video hopefully allegedly so enough talking about it let's get into it so these are the products that I'm going to use you can use your own products this is not a sponsored post so I'm just going to be using any type of products that I want I'm going to be using my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush a lot of people have asked me about this brush so I'm going to link that in the description box below I'm going to link everything that I'm using in the description box below okay you need some H2O to put that natural moisturizer back into your hair I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's red palm oil and cocoa butter curl stretch pudding with flaxseed oil I like this because you want your hair kind of stretched and with adding water your hair is going to revert back to its tight coils and you want to have that stretched out plus the flaxseed oil and the cocoa butter red palm oil is going to leave your hair feeling very very soft and then of course you know for the edge control we have to go with the cream of nature extra hold we're going to be combining this with the shine jam black caster flaxseed oil styler and also the got to be glue because we want this to stay and it's getting hot outside y'all so we have to add some reinforcement to our favorite edge control okay so let's just start refreshing our hair at this point I had my hair in this protective style for about two and a half weeks so it's a little frizzy as you can see my ends look a little, a little drier than the rest of my hair the products that I'm using to restyle my hair my hair is the same exact products I use in the initial styling of my hair. I added water just to get a little bit of natural moisturizer detangled and then just a small amount of that Shea Moisture product. Because the product is still in my hair from the initial time, I don't want to overdo it. I just want to add that shine back and you can see it and add stretch. So the shine and jam gel is going to go around the perimeter of the section that I'm going to flat twist add the cream of nature extra hold on top of that to give it that extra hold and that gloss and that shine then i'm going to brush it back and start my flat twist the first step in flat twisting is figuring out what hand placement is more comfortable for you my dominant hand is my right hand and that is the one with the tattoo on the wrist Take a small section at the very top and split it in two, one in your left and one in your right. I'm right handed so I'm going to lead my twisting with my right. Swing the right piece over top of the left piece and hold it secure with your middle finger. And then you're going to push your right index finger through the space where your left index finger is separating the left and the right. With my right index and thumb I'm going to grab down on that left piece and a little bit of the hair below it. With your left hand you're going to grab that right piece that was crossed over on top. Still holding it, you're going to use your left index finger to push through part and separate what the right hand is holding. 
Your hand position should now be back where we started. And we're going to re-slide that finger in between the space where the left index finger is separating. Right hand is gathering and pinching below while the left hand is pushing through parting and separating. And then we started right back over again. Let's do it a couple of more times on the right side until we got it. Let's get confident with it. Okay, okay, I see you, you are doing good. So let's go to the left side of our head. If you do your flat twist right and slowly and neatly, you will have the best outcome when doing a flat twist out. Look at your girl's hair out here shining and shit popping and whatnot. Too bad we're about to add some water and detangle this definition out. Let me tap in on hand placement just for a quick second. What I found that works for me is keeping my elbows towards the front. That allows me to be able to comfortably twist all around my head. Just like twisting on the right side of my head, we're going to do the same exact technique on the left. Let me throw a little tip in here to help you tighten these flat twists up. To get a tighter and neater flat twist, grip your hair closer to your scalp. The closest you get to the roots and twists, the tighter and more to the scalp it'll be.
Now here's the section that takes a little bit more practice to the point where I'm still trying to perfect flat twisting the very back of my head. It's a little hard and I keep the same position of my elbows and my hands so I really can't get the flat twist tight but I do the very same technique and it works for me. Now that my hair is re-moisturized, refreshed, and retwisted, we're going to get into these edges. And forgive me, y'all, I'm so sorry. I have no clue where that footage is of me using the edge control and swooping my edges. So I'm just going to let you know what order I use those gels in. So I go with the Shine Jam first, and then I add the Cream of Nature Extra Hold Edge Control on top of that. Now before swooping the edges, I'm going to add the Got To Be Glued Edge Gel also to get that swoop on and then use a satin scarf to lay and stay it down. And here we are, the outcome of my refresh protective style of flat twisting. I really hope that my breakdown and explanation of how I use my technique flat twisting method. Yeah, I'm going to add some jewelry because <laughs> jewelry makes your hair pop. I really hope that my explanation uh, was clear for you all, that I was understandable, and I really, really hope that you get it. So if you decide to use my method and use my technique, please let your girl see it by tagging me, sending me an email, something. I want to see what you did because we're going to get this done for the summertime. And as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it and loved it, leave me a comment and make sure you share. Until next time, girlfriends, see you later.